second video, but my first DIY tutorial. I am so excited to share with you some of my favorite projects that now you can do and impress your friends with. Today, by popular demand, we are going to be revamping a piece of vintage luggage. Voila! But first, let me go get changed. This is not the proper attire. All right, so much better. Now it's time to get down to business. But first, let's talk about all of our supplies and materials we'll need in order to revamp our vintage luggage. First off, obviously, you're gonna need a piece of vintage luggage. I got this from Goodwill for less than $5. So before we talk about all the rest of our supplies, we gotta talk about safety. So, this is my trusty mask. I use this when I'm using any type of spray paint because otherwise you're gonna get very, very high and you might die. <laughs> Next, you need some type of cleaner and a towel because you wanna clean your luggage. You never wanna paint on a dirty surface. So. Next, you're going to need some type of white primer. I always use Kills, and I have actually had this gallon and it's still half full for over a year. Uh, next, you are going to need a roller. I live by this thing. I love it. It makes my job so much easier and quicker. You're also going to need uh, some paint brushes, small or medium. It doesn't really matter, and you don't really need both. I just like to have options. I'm that kind of girl. A sponge brush. This is for all of your mistakes that you might make. But we all know you're not gonna make any mistakes because you're perfect, right? Right. Okay. Next, you're going to need some type of colored paint. I like to use a matte or satin finish on these type of projects just because, I don't know. Personally, I think it looks better, but you can use whatever you want. And I have three different paints right now, and it's just because I don't know what color I want to use yet. I'm gonna figure it out as we go along. Um, you're also going to need um, a few different types of paint brushes. These are for acrylics. We've got the pointy top. Um, I'm sure that there is a actual name for them, but hey, I'm a bad artist. I just, I see it and I buy it. And then these ones, which are a little bit crappier, and I use these for decoupage, which is what we're going to talk about next. So, all the fun designs that I had on that first luggage that you saw at the very beginning, um, part of it was a process called decoupage. And so in order to do that, you're going to need to find images. So what I do is I go on the internet and I find flowers and lips mainly because those are the things that I like you can find whatever you want. And if you don't want to go on the internet and print them out, you can also look through magazines and cut out that way. It's really up to you. Um, another thing you're going to need, or want, I shouldn't say need, um, oops, here we go, are stencils. And you can make these yourself. I'm not gonna show you how to make these today, um, just because we don't really have a lot of time. This is a very in-depth project but I will show you in another video. But you can also do this from the internet. So you'll also need some acrylic paints, and you're going to need some water for, obviously for cleaning your brushes when you're painting with your acrylics, and then also for your decoupage. And I don't think I talked about the decoupage glue yet. So I use a Mod Podge. Not that I have a preference. I've honestly, I've used every brand that there was. It's just whatever I see first, I just grab it because they all are the same to me. But you might have a preference. And I got this from Michael, so. I love Michael's. They have everything I need. Oh, and spray paints, of course. We talked about these a little bit. So I like to use bright colors. You can use whatever color you want in any of this. Do whatever you want. You don't have to make it exactly like mine. Um, have it represent you, okay? So, are you ready to get started? I am. All right, let's do this. So, let's clean our luggage. Make sure it's nice and clean. 
so that we'll have a nice and clean surface to paint on top of. Now that our luggage is nice and clean, now it's time to prime. Now what I normally do with my priming for this is I put a little bit of paint on and then I roll it. Use my roller. You get a more even finish this way. Notice some of my colors are bleeding. That's okay too. It doesn't really matter. 
easy cleanup. Follow me on 
Instagram and Twitter at my name is Timory or find me on Facebook, All Things Timory. Until then, peace out and stay glam.